Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I am late. It's supposed to be 12.15, but we were doing Christmas with my brother and his wife and two kids. And I'm now eight minutes late. Sorry. Anyway, Merry Christmas, everybody. We are doing this from my parents' house instead of uh, the shop because I'm not at the shop today. Oh, and I'm wearing the gold crown. Sorry. Uh, da -da. Uh, <laughs> we do, during one of our meals, uh, English poppers. They're called crackers or poppers. I don't know what you call them. Anyway, we do poppers. Everybody gets one. They're kind of cool. You guys might do them yourself. Hey, Ralph. Hey, Julie. Merry Christmas. Um, so we do English poppers. Everybody has to have one. You have to wear the hat that comes out of them. Hey, Dahlia. Merry Christmas. Um, so you get a hat. So what it is, it's this looks like a tied up little gift. You hold both sides. Someone holds it with you. Hey, Julie. Um, Merry Christmas. We, you pull them and they snap and they actually go pop. Uh, not like a full firecracker, but a little bit noise. You unwrap them and then you get a hat, you get a little uh, joke, you get a little trivia, and then you get a gift. And so this year we tried new ones. These are from Barnes and Noble. Um, and you, we all got like little, like I got a pen, mom got a little uh, metal frame, my niece got a, a keychain, that's a, a bottle opener, um, kind of fun stuff. Anyway. So that's why I'm wearing my hat still, because I make everybody wear them. And then we have tons of paper and trash everywhere. So we do, this is my Merry Christmas from your other closet, the consignment shop. We are not working. I uh, take the 24th off because we do a ton of family things and I'm so glad I did because I finally got my house in order. We have not had a Christmas tree at my house since 2018. Um, which is very unusual because our family's huge on Christmas and I usually have the nine and a half foot tree but have gotten rid of that since moving back to Albuquerque but um, Ryan worked his little tail off and got all his remote control planes out of our front room so we hosted breakfast we do the poppers we do breakfast we do gifts um, and we just got back so mom is cooking she's rushing around trying to get food ready and I thought today I would show you some of my Christmas traditions in my family, just to share them with you. That's why I'm at my parents' house, because we still do a ton of stuff with them. Um, behind me, I'm gonna do the wrong way, here we go. So that tree back there is our advent calendar. Um, I'm not sure if that's the one Mrs. Hoshaw made. I think it is. Anyway, this, uh, hey, Teresa, hello, Merry Christmas. Um, so what you do is you take all these ornaments and they all hang at the bottom and then every day in December you put one on the tree and on the 24th it's the last day and it's all ready to go. I have one at my house. I think Sean has one too. Um, this one I want to say Mrs. Hoshaw made. Mom, did Mrs. Hoshaw make this one? I will ask her later. Anyway, she is the mother of one of my aunts, which is actually a co-worker of my dad's. Hard to explain. Most of the family that I talk about in my family are not really related to me. Julie, you are actually related to me. Kind of cool. Um, so we do that. Mom decorates up the whole house. It looks gorgeous. Uh, but, and last night we did lights. I might post those. We do a village. Let me show you our village. Where is my village? Da da da. You see the village? There we go. We do a village. My father has been working on this since my parents got married. It is a model village. Let me see if I can get out and show you some more. So it's supposed to be, my parents got married in England, but then they lived in Wisconsin for a little while. And then we moved to Florida just before I got born. And they've been working on this the whole time. They used to, dad and my older brother did trains. My little brother did uh, LGB trains. I have some of the trains, but this village is kind of cool. So I'm gonna show you the original portion of it. Let me see if I can show it to you. Da da da, okay. The original portion starts with the church. And I'm not sure if you can see that. So it's about, now about 10 feet long. So it used to be about four foot long. It was this church. 
dad built that. It's on a hill. Okay. Actually, I think he's added to this part, but then there's roads, there's lights, there's trees, there's a bazillion people. And then you come over here, he added this. This little piece is a um, wood lot and they have um, a guy selling the Christmas trees and the wood and wreaths. And that was supposed to be my little brother's. Um, so everything's named after somebody or has a special thing. Then this house was supposed to be one of our neighbors in Florida and it looks like it has rock around it and the guy's putting lights on it. Um, they even have mailboxes. I don't know if you can see the little mailbox. It has mail in it. We have tree, uh, all kinds of cars. Um, this little tree right here. Let me see if I can do that. That little tree is from my grandmother, my mom's mom. Um, and then we have the pond where everybody is. Wow, I'm gonna get you guys sick from doing this. Anyway, let's try it this way. Maybe I can see it. All right, so the one-story house is supposed to be neighbors. The two-story house is supposed to be ours. Then my dad added the ski slope. And the house, the ski building back here is supposed to be my Aunt Anne's and Uncle Dick's. And then we have a ski slope. And when we were kids, we put this up. Always help, hear about all this stuff. Never let it touch it afterwards. It just stays kind of showing. And one Christmas, my little brother decided he should make the little ski guys ski. So mom heard him doing that. That was hysterical. Anyway, but this is the original portion show you guys this and it goes on for a while so we start here da, da, da. you have the ski slopes everybody's skiing Santa is on the house up there Santa used to be bigger and he used to hang but we can't do that in this house and then it goes keeps going that way and that's where we've added um, one of these let me see. I'm trying to think if I can show you. So we keep going. You go down the road. You still see everything. And then this is the new part. So this is um, the Village Emporium. We are going to add uh, uh, curtains to it this year. Mom and I are going to make curtains. We're going to make silhouettes too. They look like people are in it. But it's the Village Emporium and it has Christmas trees in it. Um, we have people who are snowball fighting and sledding. Dad added the fire engine um, because I don't know about you guys, but we watch all kinds of specific movies each year. And one of them is called Child's Christmas Wales and they talk about the firemen. Um, the guy, uh, the blue house, this is part of my wood lot and that's me. I don't know if you guys can see me. I'm playing with a dog that used to be our golden retriever. And I have this car. Let's see if you can see that. So I have a car that's filled with wood. And that was originally part of the beginning of it. And I have a person who would deliver wood. So that was supposed to be mine. So the car has my name on it. And then uh, now dad built me the whole store. We have the arrow, 94th and a half arrow squadron, which is, um, a nod to the Aero Squadron that used to be in uh, Florida where we lived. But that is for Ryan and Jim because they do the remote control planes now. So that was new two years ago, three years ago. This year, Dad finished Tammy's Cafe. So Tammy has a cafe on the wharf and the pier and everything is new. He added all that this year. We even have sailboats. We have a, I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay, this right here is the uh, skate shack and it's supposed to be uh, Abby's, which is Sean's wife, my sister-in-law. And then if you look that way, you're looking out into the water. So we have a water section because our family is big on water. Let's see. And then we have the wharf the boats, 
And then the lighthouse, my dad's always been fascinated with lighthouses. So he has this cool island lighthouse and he's been working on that and the lighthouse actually lights up. And then we have the polar bear island, which don't ask me why, but we have two ducks in the water and a turtle in the snow, <laughs> but we do crazy things with it. Um, so that's my parents' village. It's crazy. It's been in the family forever. Um, I know, Julie, the harbor's crazy and uh, dad wants to change the water next year, but I think it looks pretty good. Um, but we have a village. Jim loves it. That's my friend Tammy's husband. He loves it because he's been helping dad with the lights and stuff. And dad's so excited because we have brand new lights. Um, but that's what we put up. There has been a... You, so I own a consignment shop, yes, and I sell a lot of stuff, and it's, my family could fill a consignment shop. We are all collectors, so dad and mom collect uh, carolers. They're special um, figurines that people, this one company started making, and mom now has them all, or mostly, but let me see if I can do that straight. So this is a, just a handful of them. They're all actually physically singing. They stand about 10 inches tall, except for the kids are about seven. And then this is just a small sampling of them, but she puts those up. Then she has some specialty ones, like this guy right here that has the world globe. And um, so she has tons of those. I was gonna show you our tree because between us, we have shared uh, ornaments. So we collect all these ornaments. And one of the things we used to do when we were uh, putting up the tree was mom and dad would always tell us where the ornaments came from. They have friends that got to the point where, hey, we don't need gifts. So they would exchange ornaments that they got when they were traveling. So that's kind of our collection. We literally have a few ornaments on the tree. And I think I have some at my house. Um, that are glass ornaments that we've gotten from grandma and a great aunt and they're over a hundred years old. And so those are kind of cool. Um, but this is their tree. We do artificial trees in this family because it drives me nuts killing a tree. I'm so sorry. I love Christmas trees, but I don't want to kill one. So it's all decked out and we don't do a theme. All of our ornaments are from somebody who <clears throat> wanted to make sure we had a uh, keepsake from somewhere. Um, Mom also does these carolers. Hey, Kath. Hey, Catherine. How are you? Um, Merry Christmas. This is, <clears throat> I'll get out of the way. These are more of Mom's carolers. These are on the mantle. Um, <clears throat> a few of them are just super cool. And I'm crooked. Here we go. Okay. So we have dog carolers, like this little guy right here. And then we have more carolers this way. And we collect clocks, lots of clocks. But uh, the wreath mom and dad made, it's an old tree put together, lots of Southwest ornaments all over it. It came out super cool. And then the rest of their carolers, let me not show you the, are on this back. Um, German break front that mom has. Anybody else figure out that everything's backwards on my phone? Um, so let me show you those. Da, da, da. And these are kind of cool because these are a little more caricature. The, this is Ben Franklin. We have the toy maker. We have the traveler. This one's beautiful with the lady who has the porcelain um, bowl. More dogs, more cats. Um, Santa Claus is in this batch. Oh, and then on the end, she has some of the musicians. So, we have a lot of Christmas stuff. We do a lot of Christmas. A lot of my Christmas doesn't even have to do with gifts, except for we buy gifts year-round. 
we buy gifts starting now. So like if we go shopping tomorrow, even online, uh, sorry, try not to die, knock over my mom's stuff. Anyway, um, we'll start buying Christmas gifts for people. Many years we have forgotten where we put the Christmas gifts. Many years we have forgotten who the Christmas gift is for. So we have to remind ourselves. Dad's better at it. He gets lists and makes lists. We're list makers in this family. Anyway, um, you're like the franken -mund? Okay, you get to tell me, Julie, what that means. I have no idea what that means. Anyway, Christmas is huge in my family. Oh, yeah, Scrooge. You guys have favorite movie for Christmas? I realize people are, have new movies that they think are favorite movies. Ours are old movies. We have one with Albert Finney. It's called Scrooge. It's Charles Dickens and Wales' uh, uh, Christmas Carol. But let me show you guys these. So these are the caricatures from Scrooge. So Charles Dickens, it's from there. But we have, you know, Jacob Marley, Scrooge, uh, Fizzywig, Christmas, present, past, future. So, like I said, we're collectors. But I didn't really want to talk about shopping at all. I just wanted to kind of say Merry Christmas to everybody. My mother's cooking up a storm. We're going to have food forever. We had food last night. We do, um, Christmas Eve is always just pick like finger foods and we did that oh yes we are kind of a town devoted to... in Florida we used to go to a place called Brooksville they have um, a Christmas shop year-round Christmas shop and they um, it's just amazing we kids loved it um, but yeah we'd go find special Christmas things but I want to say Merry Christmas to everybody I hope you all have a safe holiday I hope everybody's taking care Make her get on the camera. Julie, you, have you met my mother? My mother does not like photographs, let alone video. Lisa, Merry Christmas. Anyway, we wanted to say Merry Christmas. I wanted to, I had to interrupt because we just finished wrapping, unwrapping gifts with my niece and nephew. They're rushing off to go spend time with um, my brother's in-laws, the Dufays, hello Dufays. Um, and then I have to go home and get gifts that we're bringing back here. Luckily, I live three blocks away, so that's no big deal. Come help my mom cook. We will sneak in and show my mother cooking. Julie says you have to be on the camera, Mom. I told her she should know better. <laughs> anyway, that's my mom. And some of you have seen her in the store. She helps out an amazingly amount. Um, Julie, how are you? Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas, Julie. Mom says Julie. There's another Julie, the Julie I used to work oh. with, Mom. Okay. Anyway, Julie, I hope you are doing well. I hope your sister is doing well. I hope your son is doing great. Um, and uh, miss you guys. Uh, we wish we could be traveling. But like I was saying, the shop stays closed. We do um, Christmas Eve upright, Christmas Day. We just spend a lot of time with family eating too much food. Thank goodness. Um, but we are... Uh, I'm gonna go home and get all my other stuff and bring it over here. Tammy and Jim are gonna have dinner with us. I am closed on the 26th and the 27th. Julie says love and kisses to you. Okay. Um, we're closed on Saturday. We are uh, closed then Sunday, Monday. And then when we reopen on the 29th, which is Tuesday, we are having a huge clearance sale. This year I have to get rid of everything in the shop because I just need to get rid of everything. Hi, Dad. Uh, <laughs> but if you come shopping in the store next week, you get 20% off in addition to any other thing. He can talk. Ann and Melissa always fight with each other. Anyway, um, and then online, the first, second, and the third, we're going to do a 21% off. And it's just a Hello 2021. That's the promo you put in. Anything you buy in addition to any discounts they have, it's another 21%. Because we are trying to clear out our shop and start new. Got to get rid of out with the bad vibes of 2020 and in with the good vibes of 2021. Anyway, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Stay safe, enjoy, eat too much food, spend time with family, call family, do whatever. And uh, I thank you for watching. It's so sweet 
pass it on to other people if they want to see my little village and I will take pictures for you Julie so you can see it a little better but thanks bunches guys Merry Christmas thank you